think about moving into second arrow? Sometimes you got to dance with the one you brought, right? Yeah, that's true. Hundreds of, of participants started this event back on Monday, and we're down to our final four. Uh, thousands of entries, um, just a lot of Almost action. Almost 200 semifinalists. Almost 200 semifinalists that made the cut. It's right. good stuff. And we're down to our last four. This next match you're about to see is going to determine third and fourth place. Again, like Nick said, 15,000 to third and 10,000 to fourth. Money that would make any professional bowler envy. Lucky somebody avoiding splits. Yeah. All right, we're getting ready to start. Dalton's going to start the match. Dalton's going to start the match on the left lane. And here we go. Dalton Cox from Vallejo, California. Elaine Weaver Purdy from Las Vegas, Nevada. Home game for Elaine. Homie. Yeah. Sixteen ABT titles for Dalton Cox getting up on the left lane. Twenty-five years as an ABT member. Yeah, that's a pretty good shot. Not bad there, starting with a four pin. A lot less nerves in this match now, knowing that you're guaranteed, you know, a minimum of ten thousand dollars. So basically these players are bowling for five thousand. And that would be the difference in the third and fourth place prize money. You know, it is, it is a letdown because they both obviously wanted to get into that championship match, but there's still a fair amount of uh, money line to win this match. All right, so no, no damage done there in the first frame for Dalton Cox as he is able to convert the four pin. Now Elaine Weaver Purdy, right lane. <laughs> Two, real four, fast. five. Yeah, real fast. This is a great experience for these players as well. You know, Absolutely. if they ever get back into this position again, you know, they have this experience to fall back on. Well, you even see that on a local level. It, you know, a first timer that makes the top five or the top eight, depending on what part of the country they're bowling in, uh, you learn from experience. Nice break there going through the nose, tripping the split out. This is going to be a spare fest. I've got a feeling. I, I agree with you. Now we'll see uh, again with that, that open arm swing where we'll see if she can get the ball right. But she has that little loop where the ball yeah. bounces and kind of bumps a little bit right, and it's hard for her to direct it online. She's got to somehow make a compensatory move in the downswing. You see as it gets behind her. There it goes. So as it gets behind her in the backswing, and then it bumps out, and then that creates the pull left. Yep. Get that shoulder running in, and ball cannot get right yep. away. You're looking. 
typically what we see on the tour is a swing that, that, that works just the opposite, where it works away from the player on the way back, and then on the way down, the swing tucks underneath that shoulder. And that's what enables them to feed the ball to the right. Muscle memory is a tough thing, though. It is. Good and bad. <laughs> Dalton's still fighting. It looks like he was trying to change his carry with, with ball speed instead of making a, a, a better adjustment or even, or even making a ball change. But right now, he's got to be right on. Well, and he goes through the nose and he splits. You know, Elaine didn't split, but he also wasn't able to take advantage of her open frame unless he converts to 3, 6, 7, 10, which, which he does. does. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Great stuff there. <laughs> Again, 19 pins in difference is the difference of the handicap between these two players. Dalton Cox having to give up 19 pins to Elaine Weaver Purdy. So he can't afford open frames. No. Or bad counts. <coughs> Or it's back to back splits. You can see there, Nick, where the ball just labors down the lane. It's it's just this pair of lanes. He had success on other pairs with the same bowling ball from the right. same line, but uh, this pair, for whatever reason, is not happening. Why is that? Well, even though you know all the lanes are synthetic now, there's you know, certain you know lanes play different. Uh, sometimes it's uh, lower part of the house versus higher part of the house, or. Uh, how much, how much was actually used on this lane, semifinals and the uh, top 59 uh, match play. You get a little push out there, and it depends what, where the players that were in front of them were playing. Sure, also, you have to take into consideration the topography of the lanes as well, as Dalton converts another split. Great job. Ooh. Good shot there. Elaine looking she's to get, down, well, she's still up 12 pins. Yep, and looking to, to increase it with another strike here. Again, 19 pins is the difference for the two players. There's the pull again. Wow, huge break. Right through the face. Huge break. And just when it looked like it may have been going the direction of Dalton Cox, Elaine steps up and does exactly what she needs to do, and that's to go back-to-back -back strikes and put the pressure on her opponent. Right on him. And he's still fishing. He really doesn't have a look. He hasn't convinced anybody watching this that he can strike on this pair. Right. <laughs> he hasn't. <laughs> because he hasn't. That was a good shot. And, and all you have to do is say it once, you know, as an announcer, ball, yeah. you know, it's, <laughs> yeah, this guy, he's a great spare shooter, whiff. <laughs> this guy can't strike on this pair. Strike, you know, it never, see, it never fails. They used to call it the Bo, Bur the Bo Burton kiss of death. <laughs> now I think they call it the Randy Peterson curse. Well, let's see if he can do something that he hasn't done throughout this entire uh, telecast, and that's double. And still hasn't. I think it was high, uh, high hoping for the Elaine break on that one. <laughs> she got it on that lane. Yeah. Again, fifteen thousand dollars to the winner of this match, ten thousand to the runner-up. That's right. I said fifteen thousand and ten thousand. And Dalton is clean through five frames, meaning no open frames, but he is still trailing. By 22, and he can be down 32 if Lane can put another one together here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Two, four, five again. Yep, the same two she left in the first frame. Yep. She's got a little bit of wood to work with, so again, it's 
you know, usually tends to help free your swing up. It wasn't a bad shot, it just never grabbed the lane surface and hooked up into the pocket. Dalton has 93 in the fifth, but Elaine still maintains the lead because of the difference in handicap. been good yes the machine did not hit that the machine did not hit that right. that was a good strike yes it was we need to change the scoring unit and reset the, and reset to a full rack but that machine did not hit that pin that's right, right. and that's what you look for if any part of that machine touches that pin on the way down then you have to reset that pin and I didn't see it happen sitting from where I was no. and neither did you no. Good shot by Dalton. He needs to throw a double here now yeah, and get back in this. Give us, a, give us a recount on the score, Nick. Where are we? Well, with that open by Elaine in the fifth frame and with him throwing a strike down in the sixth, he's only down seven pins. So actually, if he throws another one, he can actually take the lead by three pins. But he has really, really had a problem with this lane. So seven pin match through six frames here at the 2013 AB Team Spring Nationals. Dalton Cox on the left lane taking on Elaine Weaver Purdy. And this is for third and fourth position. Third place will take home $15,000. Fourth place will take home 10. Dalton has yet to double and your horse starting to look like he's running out of gas, Nick. <laughs> Of course, you know, if I would have picked them, the same thing would have happened. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you never want me to pick the Actually, horse. you know what I want to do? I want to pick you to win the tournament after this. You want to you want pick me to win the Survivor, Survivor tournament, right? Yeah. yeah. So you know what your chances are. None. <laughs> Dalton Cox stays clean through seven frames. He's has not yielded an open frame yet. Elaine Weaver Purdy has two open frames through six, but she still maintains. Seven, seven pin lead, yeah. Again, mm. pulling the ball through. And this is even more difficult mm. for her because of her arm swing. Trying it, to convert the uh, 310. Yeah, you made a good point about that swing direction, how hard it is for her to get, to get the ball to go to the right. You know what I tell a lot of people all the time? It, you know, they work on their game, but I, I honestly believe that until you see yourself on video, great shot. So you kiss the death again, I tell her she's going to have a hard time. She makes a clean as well. Yeah, that's good. But don't you feel that when you see yourself from, from the back as you're going to the foul line and watching yourself actually throw the ball, I think it's a lot easier for your mind to understand exactly what your instructor is trying to tell you to fix. I, I don't think there's any question about it that when you're doing any kind of instruction in any sport, you have to use video. Yeah. And it's a thing we call feel versus real. Get out of there. Bad break. It, you know, the, the, the player the, the player feels or thinks they're doing one thing, in reality they're doing another. And, and then once you've visually shown that person or that player exactly what it is they're doing, it's much easier for their mind to accept the change. 
You know, they, they feel yeah. like their swing is in one direction. In reality, it's in another. And, and a lot of times you don't even feel it. I, I'll bet you she never <laughs> even knew that she was doing that when you first tried, you know, started working with right. her. Right, and we showed her on video and, you know, she understands and you can see when she, her best shots are when the swing gets back in line. And, Correct. But in all honesty, there's just too much movement in that swing to be consistent, especially on a tough oil pattern like this. And she's worked really hard on her game. It, she, you, you want to talk about having a love for the sport. She loves the sport of bowling and, and she works hard at it. She practices, she bowls tournaments. But the thing that's holding Elaine back is the, that swing. And she needs to get that swing direction fixed. Everything else, I mean, her footwork's good. I think she understands what she wants to accomplish, but you're absolutely right. I think that's, that's the one impediment to get her to the next level. You know, and even though she's, uh, let's, let's recap the score real quick. With a spare here, Dalton Cox will be at 150. Elaine is at 128 in the eighth frame. Elaine getting 19 more pins. So currently, Elaine's trailing by three. Correct. Um, With the spare conversion. If Dalton Cox converts this 3 6 10. Oh. How about that break? <laughs> Who was, who was it that said when we were interviewing them that they, it, what do you, luck. what do you need to 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 Jim Waters. have you win this? And he said luck. Well, yep. that was really lucky for <laughs> Dalton Cox. He remains clean through eight frames, and maintains a three-pin lead. Close match with two frames ago. He's still playing out. He's stubborn. He's I'm still really trying to surprised. make that outside yeah, part of the lane work for him. I'm really surprised. Actually, he's moved in just a pinch. Oh. oh. He's going to have to make this twice in one game. Three, well, six, seven, yep, ten. he made it in the second frame. Third frame. Yep. It, no, it was the oh, second, second frame. frame. Yeah, you're right in the right. third frame, he made the two, five, seven. Right. He's got the three, six, ten again he's <laughs> looking at. I mean, he's made every split he's looked at. He needs to make another one to keep, to stay in front of Elaine Purdy. Right. He's got a chance. How about, How about that? How about that? He did it again. That is ridiculous. That is unbelievable. That is ridiculous. Here's the scary part. You can actually see a clean game and barely shoot 180. <laughs> he needs good count in the 10th frame to shoot 180. Yep. Elaine needs to start striking. Yes. She needs to get a double here. Look Oops. out, wide right. And oh. And how many times have we seen that this week on this oil pattern? When somebody makes a mistake, the designs that's left by that player. Right now, she's looking at the one, five, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Nick, I don't even know how to tell you to, to make this, but I'm guessing you throw it's, the ball right in between the one and the five. Be, pin. Yeah, you gotta you gotta put it right up on top of the head pin and just and get lucky. Very difficult spare to convert. And she did it. One pin difference. This is so one great. Pin difference. Is that we have a one pin one match? Pin. One pin match. Crazy stuff. So he's got a match here and beat her by one. Yeah. Two pins. Tenth frame. Yep. Both players, Elaine Purdy on the left lane. Look out, pulled. And another design, and a five count to boot. So and that's the overcompensation by what happened on the right, right lane. That swing got away from on the right lane, out of the ball early as that ball was trying to, as that swing was trying to bump out, and then she tried to save it on the way down. She misses a little bit at the bottom, it swings, it swings right. Yep. She comes back to the left lane, overcompensates, stays in a little too long, it's a big pull left. Too hard to control another direction. Another difficult spare. And, and since another, every time we think that they have no chance of making it, maybe she'll make it again. Another incredibly difficult spare. Almost. Yeah. Unfortunately, put the uh, pretty much hand at the match to Dalton. Yep. He needs to get six nine on this ball, right? Six on the first ball, and then three, and he he wins by one. Yeah. So all he had to do was out count her in the first ball. Correct. Well, the only thing that can kill him is if he goes right. <laughs> if he goes six-one, they tie. No. I mean six-three. 
Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. There's your winner. This handicap stuff's hard for me to figure out. <laughs> and I can't read the scores. It's too far. Well, that's because you're in the uh, seniors now, right? Uh, <laughs> Nick's, Nick's got to go now, folks. He, he's got a prior commitment. <laughs> All right. Well, your guy finally throws a double, and it's at the right time. Hey, you picked Dalton Cox. He finished third. He's going to take home $15,000. Elaine Weaver Purdy from Las Vegas, Nevada. She's going to take home ten grand. But you know what? She's got less expenses, Nick. She lives here. Good point. Even though Dalton's close, he still had to drive to get here. <laughs> Dalton had to drive probably some six hours. All right, coming up next, folks, we're going to have our title match between Jim Waters and Rennie Alkanga. The winner will take home $50,000, 25000 to the runner-up. Lots of bowling action left to come here at the 2013 ABT Spring Nationals here at Samstown in Las Vegas, sponsored by Storm. If you're not using Storm, you're finishing second. I agree. <laughs> <laughs>